but during by two members of the Cheetahs squad live in studio right here on Morning Rush. It is uh, the captain, Godfrey Magarabombe. Godfrey, good morning and welcome to ZTM Prime. Good morning, Roman. Hi, well, it's good to, to be here. Oh, good, good to have you. And we're with our veteran player, Hotel Mudariki. We've seen you in the 15 sides a lot lately, but you're back with the Cheetahs as well. Good morning. Good morning, Chicha. Thanks a lot for having us. All right, cool. Yeah, so we'll be having a quick chat as we build up to that uh, Rugby Africa Men's Sevens Tournament uh, this weekend. Godfrey, I'll start with you. I know we didn't see you in action uh, during the Zabezi Sevens Challenge Series. I know you were injured. Uh, first, that's my first point of call. Are you okay? Are you back in training? Can we expect to see you this weekend? I think that's what the nation wants to know. Yeah, I'm fully recovered. It was just a minor eye injury that I had to take care of, but I'm back on 100%. So you can see clearly? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. I understand you guys were in South Africa for a week-long training camp. I think you played Bordeaux, so those South African sides. In terms of your preparations for uh, the tournament this weekend, how do you think that helped you guys in terms of maybe stepping up the competition from what you had at the Zambezi Sevens? Yeah, obviously we needed some time off as a team just to get more bonding in, in, in the trainings. And we've just been working on our individual and unit skills so that we can get better. So I think that whole week it was very beneficial for us. At least we got to see where we need to get better and how we can focus on that as we get into the tournament. I understand you guys won all your games. Should we be reading too much into that ahead of, of the tournament this weekend? Nah, or? Not, not <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't more about the competition. It was about us getting better together. So obviously we played the teams and building together we were better than the teams were playing but it's not really about the, the winning points it's just about this weekend that's coming up and Hilton I know you, you're one of the senior players both in the sevens and the fifteens format yeah. obviously uh, most people will be familiar with you as the captain of the 15 sides yeah. obviously you've played sevens before but making that transition yeah. back to sevens you know after a bit of an absence what's that been like for you and what experience do you think you can bring to the squad as we get ready for uh, the qualifier this weekend. Yeah, it's, it's been it's awesome to be back in the in the setup again after I think three years uh, missing in action. So to be back uh, with the cheetahs, I mean this is where my uh, Zimbabwe rugby career kind of started. So I've almost gone full circle um, and come back into the cheetah setup. And uh, we know we've got a nice blend of <clears throat> uh, youth and experience. Um, you know guys like Godfrey who have been there for a couple of a uh, couple of years, and some of the under twenty boys that are coming through. So for me, I think it's just about uh, imparting my, my knowledge of, of rugby itself, uh, just both on and off the field and just trying to help the younger guys as well as the, the guys that have been there for a couple of years. So that's the kind of role that I, I feel that I should be taking on in the next, uh, in the next week or so. Now speaking of uh, the younger players, when you look at our under-20 side, especially in the 15s format, they've done quite well yeah. uh, on the continent in the last couple of years. But obviously making that transition to the senior setup, uh, what are some of the things that are exciting you about the younger players who are coming through and what contribution do you think they can make uh, to a bit to try and make sure we go to Paris next year? I think just the, the sense of bravery and the freedom of play that they bring into, into the setup. Uh, these guys are young and free flowing and they're keen to try stuff. And, you know, Godfrey's always been um, encouraging them to, to express themselves, not to go into a shell. And that's exactly what we want from our young guys that are, that are in the setup. And Godfrey as well, I know we've brought in quite a few foreign based players to come and join the camp. Were they with you guys when you traveled to South Africa? And, you know, what value and experience are they uh, bringing into the squad as we get ready for the weekend? Yeah, they, they were with us when we went to SA, and I felt like it was good for them to come before we travel to SA so that we can blend together. And we're getting people from different places, different kind of origins in terms of their rugby. So if you can give us a breakdown of some, some yeah, of those guys. For example, <laughs> there's uh, Brandon who's coming from New Zealand, is uh, bringing a bit of Kiwi from that side. Then we have Tubbs who's coming from the Cheetahs in South Africa. So And, and Rian has been part of the Cheetahs for a long time now. So it's just coming in, blending, and trying to put more individual brilliance into the team play so that everything looks better on, on the show. All right. Uh, and obviously, uh, looking at uh, the seven side, obviously nicknamed the Cheetahs, was I think traditionally we've always fancied ourselves as a team that likes to play quick running rugby. But we've seen the sevens game evolve as well, I think with a bit more size and speed involved. You know, what are some of the key <clears throat> elements that you think you guys possess as a team uh, that will make you guys more competitive? Yeah, I think we have... Mostly of our guys are very skilled on the field and definitely electric on the, on the pace, pace side. So I think trying to combine those two, and obviously we'll have one or two big guys who are there for the big hits, but then those electricals and just speed into spaces, that's what we're trying to 
achieve. Right. And then, uh, looking at the particular tournament, 12 of some of the best teams from Africa are coming through. I was just looking uh, at uh, the Blitz Boca. They've actually uh, named a very strong squad for that uh, qualifier. I think former Springbok wing, Roscoe Speckman, is coming through. Travis Ismail. Uh, they'll be missing their regular captain, though. But obviously, South Africa, having been uh, to the last two Olympics, will be one of the heavy favorites. Is there something that you guys are looking at in terms of your preparations, in terms of how you can probably be a David to, to their Goliath? Yeah, definitely. But we're not really focusing on individual teams. We just want to take every game as a final, so one step at a time. When we get to the finals, we'll work with whatever team that we have and we'll definitely put on our best shift so that we can make this happen. All right, Hilton, I know you've been part of... Uh, previous campaigns of yeah. trying to qualify for the Olympics. I think you were there uh, when we were trying to make it yeah. for 2016. Yeah. You know, what are some of the things that you'd like to see the team sort of focus on to try and improve yeah. our, our chances? Because you look at uh, teams like South Africa and even Kenya, yeah. uh, they get to play regularly on the World 7 circuit, which is something that Zimbabwe hasn't been privileged to do mm -hmm. uh, in recent times. What do you think maybe we can try and work on to try and make sure we close that gap yeah. in terms of competitiveness? I think like what Skip said, I think it's just about taking one game at a time, just making sure that you're focusing on, on that particular game. And you know, for us, especially this week, we're just focusing on ourselves. We're not really worried about um, who we're coming up against. We just want to make sure that you know, we tick all the boxes that we need to tick. Um, and then, yeah, just take it one game at a, at a time. And then, you know, when we get to, um, when we get to the, the playoffs, uh, then, you know, we can kind of start looking at ways of uh, trying to manipulate or trying to um, dominate the team that we're playing against. So I think just taking it one game at a, fine, uh, at a time and also taking, it, taking each game as a final, uh, like what Skip said. Uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, we need to win six games in order to qualify. But it starts with the first one at nine o'clock. All right. And speaking about uh, the weekend's action, obviously you guys open against the King of Faso. But one of the key factors surely should be the home advantage, playing in front of uh, home fans yeah. at Harara Sports Club. How much of a factor could that be in terms of giving you that extra kick uh, to go all the way? It'll be massive, it'll be massive. I mean, if we, if we just look back a couple months ago when uh, we had the cricket here um, in Narare and the numbers that turned out uh, definitely carried our team over. So, you know, we're excited about playing at home. We hardly get to play in front of our fans. So an opportunity to play in a big tournament like this in front of our home supporters is truly special. And we just encourage each and every person that can to come out to Harare Sports Club and support us. So it'll be Saturday and Sunday at Harare Sports Club. It's the Parliament's Garments Rugby Africa Men's Sevens Tournament. And you can catch all the action live and exclusive right here on ZTM Prime. Uh, Godfrey as well, uh, you know, as ZTM Prime, we have been trying to diversify our sport portfolio. We're bringing Sevens Rugby to uh, TV for the first time in a long time. Yeah, uh, how important is that as well for maybe people who are not going to be able to make it to a Royal Sports Club and even amongst you guys as, as players to know that you know, you'll not only just be getting the support uh, in front of the crowd at a Royal Sports Club but you know, the rest of the country, uh, people from Matare, from Victoria Falls, from Cholocho can watch you right here on ZTM Prime. Yeah, it's interesting that you actually mentioned because I've been having a lot of DMs, people asking that we can't make it but is there any way that we can broadcast the, the game? So it's actually a very great privilege to be able to be watched on TV all over the world. It's a broadcast that's going to change things. You know, Some people don't really know us in person. They just heard about us, and it'll be a good opportunity for us to see, for them to see us as the cheaters and see what we're all about in general. But, and then obviously, before I let you guys go, I'll start with you, Godfrey. Uh, obviously, you, you've had such a rich history uh, playing for the Cheetahs. You've been to the World Cup, uh, won the, the Africa Cup, uh, you know, so many different things. You know, looking at this particular uh, tournament, as an individual player, uh, what do you hope your contribution to the team <coughs> is going to be in terms of their uh, collective goals? No, definitely. Um, me, I'm basically that player who wants everyone to be at their 100%. So if you give me your 100%, it's easy for me to give you my 100%. So we need that bland in terms of experience and the guys that are coming in so that if we, we're on the team together, let's fight together. So I, I think I'll bring that energy into the team so that everyone knows that we're at this level and we need to get uh, higher as we progress. And Helton, I'll wrap up with you. I mean, <clears throat> your individual contribution with all the experience that you have yeah. in sevens and fifteens in terms of the collective effort come Saturday. Yeah, I think having uh, had the privilege of playing in, in big finals, um, the Olympic qualifier final back in 2016, the, uh, 
the um, uh, HSBC World Series final when we went down to Russia. I think I can definitely bring those learnings from the losses that we took then and then make sure, or help help the team to try and make sure that, you know, when we get to those situations again, um, you know, I can impart my knowledge and, and my experience in that, in that sense. But for me, I think it's just about bringing that experience, that calm voice on the field um, and just trying to make sure that, you know, everyone is, is in, a, in a, we call it a blue, a blue uh, a section where, you know, you're nice and composed, nice and easy. Um, so that's my contribution to the team. All right, yeah. So oh, we're looking forward to the Paramount Garments Rugby Africa Men's Sevens Tournament Saturday and Sunday at Harada Sports Club. You can catch all the action live. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask these guys this before they left. Obviously, 15's Rugby World Cup is uh, taking place <laughs> yep. in France. Uh, are you following it? And are there yep. any teams or players that you are paying close attention to? Uh, in terms of the Rugby World Cup? Um, yeah, I mean, France are looking very good. I mean, we, we, saw, we saw them beat the All Blacks. Um, you can never count South Africa out, but uh, my money's on France. To go all the way? France to go all the way. Oh, I think you've got <laughs> I'm more of a Kiwi type of guy. So. Oh, you're an All Blacks. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we lost to the, to the French side, and it was good, no lie, but I think we still, they still have room to improve and just get back into the right mindset. And oh, thing. All right, a big thank you there to Godfrey and Helton uh, joining us this morning on Morning Rush. And we wish them and the rest of the Cheetahs squad all the best as they take part in that Paramount Garments Rugby Africa Men's Sevens Tournament, which will be on at our RS Sports Club Saturday and Sunday. All the action live here on ZTM Prime.